Today we will visit Asia and we will go to Thailand and I'm going to show you how I prepare a very delicious dish Brussels sprouts with Thai sauce and tofu It's so delicious, I usually serve it with rice but you even don't need to use it with tofu it can be just some Thai dish and it's so good so let's have a look how I prepare it and maybe you can try it but before I show you how to make this dish, sign up for new posts, that's my motivation. What ingredients do you need to prepare? Brussels sprouts, potato starch, tofu, I like smoked tofu, shallot, cilantro stalks, fish sauce or soy sauce, chili, lemon or lime juice, ground black pepper, sugar, garlic, olive oil, and here is the full list of all ingredients. I like to use smoked tofu for this recipe. If you use unseasoned tofu, lightly salt it before coating. I cut the tofu widthwise into slices approximately half to one centimeter thick but you can further cut them in half. Coat the sliced tofu in potato starch. Let's prepare ingredients for the sauce. Thai people like to use fish sauce, however, it has a very specific smell that not everyone likes. You can replace it with soya sauce. Put the sauce in a bowl, add sugar, lemon or lime juice and mix well. Add ground black pepper and continue mixing. Add one chopped chili. This amount will only lightly spice the sauce. But if you want to reduce the spiciness even more, first remove the seeds from the chili pepper and then chop the skin. Add the chopped garlic and keep stirring. Then add shallot, cut into small pieces. Lastly, add cilantro stalks. If you don't like cilantro, you can use parsley. I usually save the cilantro stalks when I use the leaves in another dish. And I don't throw the stalks away, I chop them into small pieces and put them in the freezer. Thai sauce is ready for cooking. Finally, prepare Brussels sprouts, cut them in half. We have everything ready, so let's start cooking. Heat the oil in a pan and then place coated tofu on it so that the pieces do not touch, because they would stick together. Fry tofu on each side until the coating starts getting light orange color. It took me about 6 minutes on low heat. The potato starch creates a nice crispy layer on tofu. Transfer the fried tofu from the pan to a plate. Do not wash the pan, continue cooking. Now put the chopped Brussels sprouts into the pan, which you also fry until orange. It took me another 5 to 6 minutes. When Brussels sprouts are roasted, they become orange-brown here and there, and if you taste a piece, it is already slightly soft, but still crunchy. Then pour the prepared sauce over Brussels sprouts and cooked for one minute. Remove from stove. Brussels sprout seasoning this way can be eaten or served as a side dish to various main dishes. But we continue and gently mix it with fried tofu until all ingredients and flavors come together nicely. That's it, we can start eating. I prefer to eat this delicacy with rice. However, you can also try it as a filling for a wrap like a tortilla burrito. The taste is fantastic. 
slightly sweet and sour, fragrant with herbs, crunchy, simply ordinary Brussels sprouts become an extraordinary delicacy. Fried smoked tofu gives the whole meal the right crunch and unique taste. Enjoy your cooking and bon appetit! Yay! <laughs> Sorry! I have stepped away for a moment and my Sarah is already feasting. 